Hi there, Beth Hanlon again this week with another art project for you. Today we're going to be doing this really cool abstract art drawing and here is the supply list of the things you're going to need. Okay, so you're going to need to turn your paper on the horizontal to where the long edges are at the top and the bottom and the shorts are on the sides. You're going to next take your ruler and we're going to make five sections on our paper. We don't want them to be straight up and down, we want to get them some angle, but you're going to do five of these across your paper using your pencil. And you don't want them to overlap each other. They can come together at a point if you want them to, but you just don't want them to overlap. Okay, so you're going to end up with one, two, three, four, five, six sections when you're all finished. Next, you're going to use whatever circular objects you have chosen. I have uh, just a drinking cup I can turn upside down one way or the other, the uh, smaller circle or the bigger opening. I just used a couple different lids from jars and cans that I have. And then you're going to go ahead and make spots on here where you're just going to put your circles and trace. And this is totally no set pattern. You're gonna make this however you want it to look. You can use all one size for your circles. You can do like I've done and do different shapes, or I'm sorry, different sizes of shapes. It's your call on this. Okay, so I have my pattern laid out. Next, you're going to take the markers that you have, and you want to use two different markers that are contrasting colors. If you chose to use white, obviously you won't have to color that section, and you'll just need one other marker. But for this one, so I can show you, I'm gonna use a purple and a black. And we're going to alternate in between each section what color it's going to be. So I'm going to start with my black marker. And all this area in here is going to be the same color. I don't want to color over into the other lines. I'm just going to section it out. And what might be helpful for you when you get going on this, depending on how many pattern pieces you have, is you might want to put just a color along where you know you want to make that color. So all of this will be black, and then my next section is going to alternate, and so the inside of this circle will be the purple color, and so will this one. And then you're going to go ahead and start coloring, and you're just going to work your way over. Once you get one of these columns, remember how we made the five sections, when you start over here, it's going to be just the opposite. So if it's purple here, it's going to start with this black color here at the top because you don't want the colors right next to each other to be the same. So I don't want purple next to purple or black next to black. It's going to alternate each one. Let me show you my sample one again. If you'll notice on here, we started green and the blue was around here, but the green is not right next to this green. There's a broken up pattern where the blue is in between. So that's what you want to try and make sure that you don't touch color to color. So where you're just gonna go ahead and I like to trace around some of the areas that I'm gonna color just to kind of help me know where to stay in. And I happen to be using markers today, but if you don't have markers, that's okay. You could use colored pencils or you could also use crayons. One thing to keep in mind when you do your, your uh, markers is that we're gonna use a lot of it. So when you're not coloring, if you're alternating, you might wanna keep your marker turned with the cap down so that it helps the 
markers are nice and wet. And you're just gonna go ahead and start coloring. So see how we're alternating there, and then you're going to keep working your way across each section. Okay, and there I have my finished project. Now you notice this last strip, I didn't have any of the circle stuff on there, so that's just going to be one solid color, and that's fine, because it is contrasting with the other one. The fun thing about abstracts is you can do it however you want. If you don't want to do circles and you want to do triangles or squares or some other shape that you like, find something that you want to trace. You could even use a compass and make your circles that way if you wanted to, if you didn't have a lid or anything handy. Point is, do what you like, play around with some different things and see what you come up with. And keep in mind, you can use complementary colors, you could use like a light blue and a dark blue, or you could use uh, black and white, or you could do opposite colors like we did on these, and just have fun with it. Play with it and see what they turn out like, and uh, like I said, it's really easy, and it's lots of fun, and I hope you enjoyed it, 